Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So it's another TRF video, but it's a quick one, so I'm going to do a, I'm going to do this video quickly because I know there's a lot of TRF stuff at the moment, um, but that's my goal for this year, as you know. Anyway, following on from the last video, um, all the decals turned up from MCI that we got scanned, so I got busy. Um, Cutting out and redecaling re three of the cars. So I now have three cars completely 100% finished. So I'll show you them. And then we have got a brand new TRF courtesy of my very good friend Keith from RC Icons. And I'm also sporting the Bradford City vest. Come on, the Bantams. Yeah, if you're not from UK, you have no idea what that is. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll, we'll, I'll get the three cars over. Then I'll show you the new arrival, and then hopefully what I'm going to do is, because it's got a brand new chassis with this new arrival, and the body sets are right for it, so I'd love to get this car finished, and the body and wing mounted, and then that's the first body set that's going to go in a box, ready to get professionally painted at some point when I've got the others ready. Anyway, let's talk, I'll show you the cars now. Right, so, car number, TRF car number one, completely finished. 100% completely completely finished this time. So obviously I just was waiting for the 201 decals which I've got which are fitted now. So I left the side um, the same. I took it had a 201 here and a 201 here, but this was they were black because it was from the XR XM sheet that I did ages ago. So I wanted them in white because I think I, I think white white decals are the only ones that work with this livery in my opinion. Anyway, so I put the white 201 on took the black 201 off here and just put the TRF because now I've got the TRF 201 on the sides of the wing and that's that was a key thing for this collection as I said in the last video I want each car to sport what it is on the wing which I think is rather cool um, so yes oh god I love how this thing looks so this time this is the last time you're going to see this car my friends which you're probably shouting at the screen thank goodness sick of seeing it but yeah, I love it. Um, you will see it once more when it when I build the cabinets when the TRF collection's finished and we put it all away. But uh, anyway, car number one finished. Car number two, sorry, TRF car number two now completely finished, which is this is my five hundred three. Now I uh, completely redecal this one. Um, I had a massive Tamiya down the side which I never really liked but the original decals I used when I built this um, hence why I just left it but now um, you see these number decals there's this white decal and then you put the numbers on and there's one at the front here as well that these decals are, for, are on the TRF 501 and 502 and possibly the 511 but not on the 503 but I thought no that's going to be cool so I've got an extra sheet made, so I've put the number decals on, and obviously because it's a 503, that's why I've used the number three, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, put the smaller Tamiya World Champion, nice white 503, and then the big 503 on the wing, which I'm really happy about. As a, Again, that was a, a big part of it for me. Looks so good. And I also, I didn't, I didn't mention this on the 201 previously, I've also put the TRF on the inner of the wings. Now I've got the numbers on the outer, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, absolutely over the moon with that. I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely thing that is. Oh, one thing to add, should you be, now these 503 decals are available from MCI. The original decals are in a chrome finish for this car, for this car. Um, so I obviously got MCI to change the colours from the chrome to white to match the rest of them. But um, yeah, I think that looks absolutely incredible. And Tamiya TRF car number three completely finished is the 502. And I'm absolutely made up with this one. So in the last video, you will have seen me show you this body set that was sent to me from my good friend Duncan in the UK. Um, so I was just waiting for the proper 502 decals to arrive so yeah obviously got it all fitted and uh, now I've uh, decaled it up um, this the only actually I do have to fit velcro to it look at that under tray that's incredible isn't it but yeah I, I need to fit the velcro which will take care of it'll bring the body down and the under tray up if that makes sense um, oh, I'm over the moon with this one um, 
I just think it looks gorgeous. So obviously this is with, this one was a full decal. So I've gone with the normal. It's got again got the numbers, but with it being a 502, gone for number two. Same on the front. 502X at the front. Very simple. Did put the little world champion here, which I really like. And it's got these cool 502X skull decals that you get. And I've done that on a wing as well. Um so yeah, not gone sort of crazy with decals on it. But um, yeah, I think it's just enough. And again, wing sides. Now say 502 TRF on the inner. Um, it's really funny because I've had this car a while. Um, and it had a gorgeous body set on it. It was just obviously the Union Jack one. Um, but to see it now in full TRF, almost sort of box like, box art like, it's, it's just awesome. It really is. Um, I'm just going to drop bring the 503 back because th although the wing's different on this one, um, this the main shell is the same as on the 503. But I'm just going to show you how the difference in painting them is and how the canopies are because the two are completely different. I think that's a pretty good angle. So this is kind of how the standard. Um, so this shell first came on the TRF 511, that was the first car, and then obviously the 502, and then the 503. Um, and this is kind of the box out one, so you've got the big front window, which is normal, but then you've got this, I just find it weird where the, the side window is right to the back and this line. So when I got my 503 painted, shout out to Craig if you're watching, um, I asked him to put the windows to the front. Now. I really like that, and when Craig, when that came to me from Craig, I was like, that is spectacular. And it just, it looks more of a car to me. But now I've actually got this one in front of me, I kind of like this as well. This is, this, I prefer this one, Windows I'm talking about. Definitely prefer that one. But um, yeah, this isn't as bad as I kind of thought it was. <clears throat> In fact, I hope that makes sense, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, how, oh, sorry, how cool is that? So if I can lower it slightly. Yeah, I made up with them too. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, because this one, move the microphone, because the window's at the back, you lose all this space here that you can put decals on. So it's kind of a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, I like it. So this one was painted by Attack RC in Spain. Um, and he'll be definitely painting more of the TRF cars for me. Anyway, enough chatter. Now let me show you the new TRF that's arrived. And this is a new arrival. So this is the TRF 211XM, two wheel drive. Um, had no idea Keith was uh, getting me this. Um, he did mention ages ago that he'd um, found a 211 on, I think it was on Bayi. Um, I think it was shortish money. I think that's what he said at the time. Um, and then, as Keith does, he, another email came in saying, right, this is yours, I'm going to send it to you. Um, with a brand new chassis. Because if you know, this, this the 211 XM has this plastic chassis. And you can see that it just doesn't stay clean at all. Um, and every scratch can be seen. As you can see, so this car has been really well used. This has been on the racetrack constantly. You can see that. Pretty certain the springs, it's got aeration big bars on, but I'm pretty sure they're not Tamiya springs because um, they're way softer than the Tamiya springs and it's got full travel. So, um, yeah. So the thing just needs cleaning up, really, and then the chassis is changing over. So um, that's what I'm going to do next. Um, Keith, if you're watching, massive, 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 humongous thank you, my friend. Um, as soon as I found out I was getting this from Keith, I jumped on and I was so lucky to find, well, not lucky, but there was a, a Proline Bulldog body, which is a Chaos RB6 body set, but apparently it fits straight on this car. Um, and it's just, it's a, in my opinion, it's a really awesome looking cab forward body. So the 211 is going to spot the Proline Bulldog. So we're hopefully going to get that mounted, um, cut out and mounted in this video as well. So yeah, I'll dig the screwdrivers out and let's start figuring out how this is going to come apart and I'll clean it at the same time. Right, a little way into it and I'm pleased to report that the screws are coming out of the older chassis. 
really well. It's always always a worry for me because uh, sometimes the the too tight or rounded or whatever but anyway so far touch wood everything's good so I've got the battery um, doodads in I've got the servo mount um, it's got two ball ends um, which the previous owner has done I'm not too sure possibly for a shorty battery to stop looking at that length looks like a shorty so they just put that in as, as a stop I think I don't know um, and is that hook thing? Not too sure. That's for your cables or your cabling, isn't it? Which is there a hole for that? Yes, there is. So I'll take that out next, and then it's just the front and back end. Right, just as you can see, I'm bolting the front end. So the steering wasn't working. Um, and I, I knew I was going to take it apart, so I thought I'd look at it then. Um, this, <laughs> this is this is odd. So this arm here is hitting. The main arm, so the steering arm, is hitting this arm. It's as, almost as if the hubs um, should be turned 180, so that um, this is on the top as opposed to the bottom. That's bizarre. Anyway, I'll figure that out. I, I need to bolt it all back together. But the reason I came back is, so here's a hop-up that I've only recently learned existed, and this is the 201 steering in alloy blue bling um super rare when i found out i think it was my girlfriend dennis who might have been keith but i'm pretty sure it was dennis because he had a couple of sets of these so i ended up buying a set off him which is i'm going to fit on my uh, 201 xm build but um yeah i didn't know the 211 xm had them so if you know this car does does the car come with this alloy steering or is this an upgrade to this particular car? I'd be very curious to know that. Anyway, I'll carry on taking things apart. Right, that's the front end on. Oh, fits together very nicely, no issues. Which is cool. I'm gonna have to source myself a new front bumper. I would imagine that's quite easy to get. Um, it's a shame to have that scrappy bumper on when it's got obviously a gorgeous new chassis on. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to leave the steering. I'm not too sure I want to dig a manual out, which I don't have. I'll have to get one online. But to me, if you see the angle of this, how the arm's on the bottom, and that arm is actually hitting on this arm. Now, if that was reversed and put on the other side, this arm would be towards the top. But, um, yeah, I still don't know if it would miss it. It's bizarre, that. Um... But also, I could be changing the arms, the whole front end on this, to fit the uh, Team Associated, I believe it is, arms that I bought off Dennis and Hubs. So it does the 12mm um, hexes for the fronts. So right now, that is not a problem at all. And the more I feel these shocks, the more I'm convinced that they're not Tamiya Springs. They're so soft. Um, and again, with full travel, which, yeah, I really like. Anyway, back end. Right, that's back together. And oh my godness, I had trouble. Oh my godness, oh my goodness even, I had trouble. Um, yeah, very interesting that I've done this chassis swap because this has put me in good stead for my XR build and XM build. Um, because I didn't actually know how it, the car sort of went together. Anyway, now I do. But the big problem is, where is it? I put that screw. So this screw goes in there all the way through is plastic and to the top and then the carbon bit bolts down to it. Um, the screw is shot and I thought I would have another, but um, I don't. So what is it? It's about probably about an inch and a half. Um, don't have one. So what I have done for now, which is a little bit pointless actually, given how it goes together, but I've put the longest screw in I can. Obviously, it's not countersunk, so and it's silver. Um, but um, yeah, that's allowed me to put it through, put the first spacer nut on, and then the carbon's actually sat on the screw through the screw. But there's obviously not enough thread coming through the carbon. So yeah, not ideal by any stretch of imagination, but <laughs> for what the purposes of what I'm using doing this, this is fine and um, I'll contact Dennis I think because um, he um, he raced a 211 for a long time 
and still might be actually so I'll see if he's uh, got a spare one um, if not I'll order one from somewhere that was enjoyable oh yeah uh, yeah I gotta be honest I really enjoyed that um, sounds like an easy process just a quick chassis swap but um, you know how these things work Look at that. so yeah I'm gonna get a new bumper for it and then the underneath is crisp and clean um, I will have a good look I think there's two blue battery stops missing from here I think might be wrong I'm pretty sure I've seen that before because um, right yeah the battery stops because this car is actually designed for a 7.2 obviously it's Tamiya um, but anyway because um, I, yeah I would like to come to run this so next thing I want to dig out wheels for it so I've got a set of Tamiya 201 wheels with dual block tyres um, left over from something um, so I need to dig them out now these have got hexes on the back interestingly um, yeah, I'll take them off and use the pin fit. Anyway, let's get some wheels on there. Right, that's the wheels on. There's something very strange about this front end. There's, yeah, about the hubs. I don't know what it is. So instead of messing around with that, I'm going to fit these, the ones that I got off Dennis. I think they're a team associated, but um, as you can see, the beauty of these is it takes uh, 12mm um, hex wheels, which is massive. So I'm going to figure out how to change these over quickly. Oh dear, this is not going well. So, couldn't put Dennis's arms on because all the hardware, the turnbuckle lens and things like that, um, the holes in these arms are bigger, so it needs bigger hardware. And yeah, I can't be bothered looking through my stuff. So, decided to bite the bullet and see if I could figure out what's going on. Now, I don't know if this is correct, what I've done, but as you can see, I now have full steering. So what I've did, what I've done was I've taken each hub off, swapped them over to the side, and flipped them up so that the the arm, the arm here is on the high side now, and then it also didn't have spacers, so I've got these alloy spacers underneath, which is jacking it up now. Maybe the spacer needs to go at the top, so it's jacking it down. I don't know, but anyway, I've eradicated all the play, and if I grab that. Which way is it? So now you can see we have full steering. <laughs> oh, dear me. That was a mission. Uh, right, yeah, let's get the wheels on now. Ah, something interesting to show you. So just before I put the wheels on, these are the ones I was going to use, and they're a bit tatty. But on this 201 here, it's got some wheels, and they're a lot whiter. So I thought I'll change the tyres over and put the whiter ones on. So as I'm taking them off, the standard 201, I've just looked at the arm. So this now, because this channel's only on one side of the arm, and that's a, that's what I've just done to the 211. So that's correct. So they were on the opposite way around. Which is awesome, which means I've uh, I've done my bit right. I'm just looking for spacers now. Ah, okay, so there's a spacer top and bottom on this. All right, that's something I'll have to change at a later date. But anyway, let's get the bloody wheels on. Right, finally, we have a 211XM with all the bits working on it. That's been cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, very different. So, I think as you can see, oh my God, it's sat way too high for my liking. Um, the back end, that's it'll kind of rest at that, but it will. If you push it down, it will sink. But the front... Let me just lift that back end up again. But the front sort of comes up really high. So anyway, point being, I'll probably have to put some internal spaces in at some point. But uh, yeah, as you can see, full steering now. Much better. Yeah, that was very, very cool. Um, so the plan with this was always to put those front arms on of Dennis's with the 12 mil, uh, 12 mil hex adapters on because I want to put like um, carpet tyres on this and I've got pink wheels coming for it which are 12 mil hex but um, yeah I'm going to have to find the proper hardware to uh, change these over, that's way bigger. Um, I'll have to see if I've got some longer ones and maybe put a nut on 
but it's, it's obviously that ball end and then there's another ball end to fit in there so yeah i don't know i don't know um oh camera's for oh everything's not working today i bet you can know what i'm talking about my friends don't you and it's just like nothing seems to go right very cool indeed nice and smooth look at that steering angle it's ridiculous glad i changed those white wheels on. so yeah next thing now is to get the proline bulldog body set out and uh, get it cut out and mounted because um, i'm kind of kind of excited to see that sat on this car right then so been doing this on and off when i last made that last segment that was literally like five six days ago um so i've just been sort of chipping away at it because um this body is not for this car as such although it does fit so let's start at the beginning so since you last saw it i've put internal o-rings inside all four shocks now to lower it because it just sat way too high for me um so i'm, I'm really liking that stance now um it's still got plenty of uh, clearance so this shell is a pro line bulldog and it's actually for the kyosho rb6 so but they did use it on the no i don't think it ever went on a 211 like this um it the time period was wrong but um it would have gone on um what could it have gone on it could have gone on the 201 xr 201 xm um not sure about the xr actually but definitely the xm and possibly no anyway whatever you get the gist of what i'm saying um oh, I'm, I'm made up with that so I did follow the full RB6 cut lines, which in hindsight, I wish I hadn't, and I'll show you why in a second, it's not a biggie. Um, I am loving the overall look of this, it is just awesome. So the hole, the, the mark on the hole, it's not in the correct position for this car, um, it's further back, so you've got to go and judge it. I've also got the back end, a little bit of plastic under the back end holding it up, because obviously this has got to be Velcroed on. But this is going to get sent away for painting. So I've just got this just sitting it up roughly at the height it wants to be when it's Velcroed. Um, it's roughly trimmed at the moment. I'm, I mean, this is all I'm going to do for this one right now. And, and when I've got the rest of the TRF body shells to send off for paint, then uh, that's when I'll sand it and whatever. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. So this is the Kyosho cut line, as you can see, for their gearbox. So in hindsight, all I would have done, I mean, I followed the full cut line completely. I would have just, instead of having this loop here, I would have just followed it down more gradually. Again, no biggie whatsoever. Um, and that's the standard wing. I did have to chop some of it off just behind, just like in a semicircular, very shallow, um, just to allow the, um, the wing not to hit the shocks. Oh, I'm really looking forward to getting this one painted and decaled. It's it's honestly a great body shell. Um, it's kind of from that period where the forward cab design was taking off. You know, obviously the forward cab which gives you much um, better front end grip because this is like basically a wing out of the cab. But um, this and the Proline Phantom. It, it wasn't like today's forward. They, they did put some lovely shape onto it, which is, for me personally, is lacking in today's forward cab bodies. Um, that's, there, are, there are some nice ones that I like, but um, yeah, this is going to be spectacular when it's painted. The car itself looks huge. It really does. Now, I know it's the XM, so this is probably the longest or one of the longest wheelbases um, of the TRF cars. But, um, yeah, I don't know what it is with the big wing or whatever. Um, oh, I'm made up with that. I really am. That is awesome. It's one of those, I get a little bit nervous when, you you know, you're trying to get a body to go on a car that it's not really designed for as such. So you just, you're just always second out in your cut lines. Oh, you have to leave in the comments what you think, my friends. I'm just a massive fan of that. I really am. I just hope it's coming across on uh, camera. See if I can put it in a different position with a different background where you might see the shape of it better. I don't know. Is that any better? I don't know. 
I'm nerding out now. <laughs> oh yes, big, big fan of that. Sorry, you're just seeing this for the first time, I am. Got a little bit of work, more cutting out to do, just sort of more trimming um, to get it how I want. Because I've got to figure out what if I want some better shape on the wing sides as well before I send it off for painting. But uh, yes, big, big fan of this. Keith, if you're watching, my friend, again, thank you so much. Um, did not expect this car coming into the collection. I mean, a 211XM. But to. Uh, God, but you're sick of me moving about, aren't you? Sorry, nerding out. That's just so cool. So, so cool. That is going to be off the chart. So, you're not going to see this one again for a long time because this is. That's actually the first body set I've got now. I know it's got to be trimmed, but that's the first one to go in the box that's going to get sent off. As I'm speaking now, Tony's Tammy Apart's got the 501 World's Edition body in, so that's on its way to me. I've got the under tray for that already. Then I just need to nick a Tammy Racing Wing out of one of the XR kits, and then that full 501 body set goes in the box. And then I have to build the 201 XR and XM. The XR's having the Tammy, standard Tammy body shell on it. And the XM's got having the Pro Line Phantom wing, a body and wing on. So once all these cars are finished, and there's going to be some slightly different colours in variation, variations in colours on these TRF cars, and obviously with a different body shapes, yeah, it's just going to be off the chart. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother making an outro. Um, I bored you to death with this one, I'm sure. For Keith, again, just a massive thank you, my friend. Massively appreciated. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I'll give you a behind the camera thumbs up and as always my friends happy hour scene